Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Biking along in Howell Township. Wanted to explore a little bit. Found Bear Swamp Natural Area. Uh, it appears it's uh, owned by Howell Township and it was donated. The land was donated. I, I couldn't really find too much about what actually went on here at one point, but if you're looking for an adventure and you really don't want to drive far, Everybody knows about the tile factory and some of the other ruins in the area, but this is, uh, this is a heavily populated area, and I bet you there's not too many people that know about this, but it's worth checking out. This building, this structure, probably would have dated back to the 1800s. And uh, I went on historicaerials.com, and all the way back in 1931, you could see the variations of the tree lines that would indicate some of the uh, other piers that come off of this building. Uh, but you don't really see anything here, so I'm sure it's been abandoned for an extremely long time. Uh, if you look back through some of my other videos, you'll see that I explored the uh, abandoned gunpowder factory that blew up. Well, this building and this structure and the type of brick and almost everything about it reminds me of that building I visited about two years ago. So uh, some of the other aspects of the property I'll show you would uh, indicate very similar construction techniques. So this must have been some type of mill. And as far as the eye could see, there's piers that come off of it. So uh, they all have threaded rods through the top and they go all the way straight out that way and they make a left and go this way. And it just keeps going on as, as far as I could see. But uh, check out the detail of the brick for this little cutout here. I'm sure this is what they would use to shovel some type of uh, uh, coal or fuel through, or maybe this is where the shaft came out that spun. Or this could have been another site to the gunpowder mill and there would have been little carts that went between the piers to bring the gunpowder around. This is uh, close enough that it could be part of it. Hey, check this out. A little scooter here. Someone abandoned back in the woods. There's a lot of people that hike through these trails so I'm pretty sure the people that are familiar with this particular spot would know about this structure and maybe could chime in in the comments to let everybody else know what it's all about. You can see the building just crumbled. All the bricks here have a marking with uh, two stars. We've seen though that same type of brick in other videos so there must have been some brick mill locally that that was their insignia. Uh, if you come here in the fall or spring or summer I'm sure there's potential to get a lot of ticks and it's very muddy. You can see how filthy I got coming through. But this tree fell down and pulled a lot of bricks up with it but the tree probably was grown in the middle of the brick and didn't have a good root structure. But this tree is probably a good 50, 60 years old, so you can imagine how long this event has been abandoned for. So I must hang out here and hunt. This is a hunting area. There's bricks all over the ground. And there's not too much more this way, but to the left here, you'll see another structure. There's an outline frame structure, and then it tears up with another structure in the middle. And then there's a threaded rod 
coming out of the side here. Very slippery on the bricks with the leaves on top. And then if you look straight out, you could see all those piers are lined up perfectly with each other and they all have a threaded rod coming through. But then there's another one in the middle. It's like a pyramid type shape. Look at all that. Years of patina on the bricks. These are all rusted out, these uh, threaded rods. There's some type of pit here. But now you can see how they're all lined up perfectly and it just keeps going. And there's another structure in the distance. So this was a, a pretty, uh, pretty big facility here. That's uh, it's a very pretty pile of bricks there. And this one, uh, all the mortar wore out and all the bricks started falling out. Almost just looks like it's a dry stack of bricks. What we'll do is we'll just follow along these piers here to see uh, the next location where they go. You got another line of them right here that are knocked down. But these are uh, these are pretty much intact. So you can see you got two straight ones, then you got one shaped like an L. You got two straight ones. And then there's another one shaped like an L. But then we have one straight one and two L's and then a straight one and an L. So there's some type of reasoning for the pattern. And then along this whole side here, there's a brick wall that goes all the way down. It's called Bear Swamp Natural Area. It's a big loop of uh, hiking trails. Or I'm not really sure if you could ride a mountain bike on them. Now we have just this big field. Almost looks like uh, tombstones. And they go on and on and on with these piers. That's the building where we started at in the distance. There's the row of piers that go down this way. You know, it's a cold December day and I've still got a few ticks on me. I, could, uh, I just pulled two off. And this berm here was built up for a purpose that I'm standing on to serve some type of purpose for the production they had here. So this could have been uh, an actual building and those could have been things that led to the building, but this, these are all spaced out pretty evenly. So these could have been, this could have been a swamp or marsh area. And they needed to elevate the building. 
you know, and there could have been a train track what I'm standing on right now, how it's uh, it's banked down on either side. You know, there could have been an actual train track that brought the goods in and out. And this might have been the end of the line. But if you look further, there's more brick structure down here next to this little iced up swamp. Those bricks had two stars, this one has one. This one doesn't have any. And looking in the distance, I there's a field that I rode through in the beginning of the trip. I don't see any more part of the building, but there's a big trench, maybe where they would drain the water out, or the water would flow through. But check this, uh, this clay pipe. And you can see here, this is built on a curve to support that pipe. And this stuff is, uh, this is really old stuff here. And you can see it's all swamp moving forward, but I bet you under these leaves, there's a good amount of artifacts that people could find. See this trench? That might have been important to the production. Hey, you never know what you're going to find right in your backyard. You live somewhere for 40 years and still not know of all the little gems in the area. Be really cool to find like a placard or some type of sign or an old tool that was part of the production. I mean, here we have uh, another set of smaller piers and then a round brick structure. little bugs all over the place. Probably all over me. Hands are all cut up. So this this has flame brick in the middle so this was some type of fire pit. So this could have been a foundry this could have been part of the gunpowder mill. There's a lot of theories, but I'm sure someone knows the absolute truth of exactly what it was.
It's a lot of uh, space here that this takes up. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'd love it. I'll see you soon.